What's up guys, thanks for joining another episode of Cars, Bikes, and Coffee. I'm Kurt and we are working on a 1973 Datsun 240Z. And today, we're going to install that battery box we just made. If you haven't seen that video, hit the link above. So today, there's a few things that we need to do to get this installed. Stay tuned. So this is the location that the box is going to sit. And to sit here, we're gonna to need to put in a couple bolts and nuts into the floorboard. And in order to do that and to be safe, we're gonna lower the gas tank just a little bit. And there's also a few things where we're gonna install into the box, like the circuit breaker. So let's get started. All right, so we have the car up on jack stands and it's lifted up. So now we're gonna take off this access plate and then we're gonna support the underneath of the gas tank with a jack and then a piece of plywood and then we'll unbolt it and lower it very slightly just to give a little bit more gap in between the gas tank and the floor. All right, so in the process, we undid the main fill line. So we've unhooked that and we were able to lower it just enough so you can see the gap up here. And that way we can uh, safely drill the floor and then secure our nuts to those bolts. So this is the, the indent of the floorboard that I wanna drill into. That way I can side it real easily uh, down below. And also more importantly, it is uh, uh, raised. So a washer and a nut might uh, be hidden inside there to avoid the gas tank even more. Um, this right here has a little rubber gasket. This is where we're gonna drill through to run our vent line for the battery. And so what we're gonna do now is line up the battery box to this line, mark our holes and then drill through the battery box. And then we'll come over here and drill through our floor. So now we have the holes drilled and what we're gonna do now is since we're here, we're gonna drill the holes for the circuit breaker and that's gonna mount up here because the line will come in to the bottom of the circuit breaker and then the top will go out to the battery. All right, so we've marked with the Sharpie our holes where we're gonna drill, but before we start drilling, we're gonna take a little bit of tape, put it over the end of the drill bit, so that way we know when to stop and not to go too crazy. Just double check our lines. We're good. We're gonna start with an eighth of an inch drill bit. We'll go underneath and check. All right, so let's see if you can see it. See that hole right there? That is right where we want it. So we are good. So now we're gonna go back, drill the other hole, and size them up for the bolt. All right, so at the end of the time lapse, you probably saw some tape and we put a little bit of primer into the metal so that way we don't get any rust. So now what we need to do is bring our carpet over and we're gonna find our holes. We're just using a straight pick tool to line those up. So now that we have those, we can go ahead and put in our bolts with our washers. And while we're putting things together, it would be smart of us to go ahead and put in our power wires. That way we don't have to try feeding them around while it's bolted in. So we'll do that first and then we'll fit our hardware. Okay. 
Okay, so our circuit breaker is in and our wires are all placed and run. So now we're gonna have a large washer and then we're using all stainless steel and we're gonna go and put these into our holes and tighten those nuts. All right, so our nuts are tightened down and we did use some lock washers to make sure that they don't back out. So now what we wanna do is put the uh, gas tank back in, bolts back up, and then we'll go back up top. All right, so there we go. We've got it installed. Battery is all connected. Probably just go around, clean it up a little bit. And uh, we do need to run our vent hose out and we'll get that. That's easy. That's just running the hose through the little grommet that we put in and through that plastic grommet. Now we're gonna go around to the power wire. Now with the power wire, what we're gonna do here is we've got some maroon vinyl that we're gonna wrap this. So essentially it will look like a sleeve. Um, I don't wanna be cutting any holes in this car as, uh, even though we drilled those small ones, but I don't want anything large you know, that was running through and, and up the back. So that will dress it up. So thanks so much for watching. If you like what you see, consider subscribing. We've got much more content. We're gonna be working on a 260Z here shortly, and then we'll be building that from a rotisserie all the way up. So stay tuned for that. Have a good one.